Hey, hi class welcome back for great i'm really happy that you are here today it's finally friday and i hope you are ready to start with this new class and um, today we are going to be learning a topic about the commas and i know you already know or you're supposed to know how to use them in spanish it's not quite different from the english but today we're going to be learning that um, yesterday we were working some activities, we were at the live class and if you missed it, and uh, today you can find the video on the platform so you can complete the activities and yesterday we did the activities about Joe, Susie and the mommy and then we read about the mommy that takes a walk and this is it so we did two pages for activities about the same topic about the mummies and we were talking about this it was just like Halloween right and we had a nice time right there and if you miss it don't forget to send your activities because they matter too so I was telling you today we're going to be learning about the commas and using um, using them in text and you already know what are commas like a comma separates units of meaning in a sentence and we know that commas have different uses and there are some rules different rules a lot of rules in sh in which times you can use them and so i'm showing you here one of the most common a comma separates items in a list like for example if i'll tell you I want to go to the supermarket and I'm going to buy tomatoes, potatoes, uh, onions, apples, carrots, kiwis, bananas, etc. Those words has to be have to be comma. Uh, between those words we have to put a comma, right? Okay. Tomatoes, comma. Apples, comma. And potatoes, did I say potatoes? Onions, comma, etc. Okay, so you know that when you have a list of words, a list of items like you have in here, items significa como, puede ser como cosas, objetos, eh, en otras palabras, ¿no? And you need to put a comma between these words in this list. Like, for example, Jenna bought some apples, comma, grapes comma bananas and pears for head fruit salad so you know antes de la última you cannot use a comma you should write and es lo mismo que en español ok a comma separate subordinate clauses from a main clause and the start of a sentence uh, a clause mean is like a short sentence um, for example in this case we have although she was tired Tilly went to the party. Okay, this is a sentence, but we have two clauses. Although she was tired is the first, although she was tired is the first clause. Tilly went to the party is the other clause. Like when you have two parts in a sentence and the first part is a clause and the second part is a clause. So when you have like a cause and a result, then you need to write a comma and yes so then we have some other like uses but we are going to pay attention to the first ones now and uh, for example i want to tell you like for example um the last unit we were learning like saying first second third like giving some some steps like uh, if i want to cook something i need to follow some steps eh, eso estuvimos la, viendo la unidad pasada entonces es importante que recordemos esto porque de esta forma vamos a usar the commas now we are going to learn the sounds después vamos un poco más adelante cuando iniciemos la actividad del students book vamos a retomar este tema de las comas now we need to practice the sounds because these activities take most of the time of the class and we have sounds with K N W R. Now we have knee, right, knee, right. 
Okay, very good. Now, I have some words for you and I want you to repeat with me. Night, night, no, no. Repeat with me, everybody. Knife, new. Okay, if you pay attention, the, that K doesn't have any sound. Like, if you can listen to it, but it's not that clear. No es como muy pronunciada o muy escuchada es acá, no, no decimos night, sino decimos night, ok very good, now let's repeat these words one more time night, no knife new, ok, in the other side we have road repeat, road wrecked wrist wrong, one more time road Wreck, wrist, wrong. One more time. Road, wreck, wrist, wrong. Excellent job. Now we can go to the activities on the students book pages 52, 53 and 54 that we are going to see later. Now, first of all, we are going to start on page 52 and we have, I will learn to write sentences with commas. Uh, activity 17 says, read and choose the sentences where the commas are used correctly, okay? We use a comma between items in a list. That's what I already tell you. And the first one says, I should rest, take medicine and drink tea. Number two says, I should rest, take medicine and drink tea. Which one is the correct option? Number one or number two? And you're going to circle it or underline, okay? Now, the next one says, we use a comma after most sequence words. We don't use a comma after then. Now, the sequence words are the ones that we learned in the last unit. Like first, then, a second, Next, finally, okay? So, number one says, first, I brush my teeth, then, comma, I wash my hands. Or number two, first, I brush my teeth, then, I wash my hands. You are going to circle or underline the correct option. Number one or number two. Now, activity 18 says, copy the paragraph in your notebook, put commas in the correct places. It is not necessary to copy this in your notebook. You just can take your pencil or a pen with different color. I don't have pens in different colors as you have pencil. I don't have pencils in different colors as you have pens. So you're going to take your red pencil, not pens, pencil, and you're going to write the commas in the correct places. For example, the text says, there's how I take care of myself and stay healthy. First, okay, I'm going to write the comma. I put the comma. Exercise every day. I run, play soccer, ride my bike, and I and do gymnastics. I like skateboarding too. Next, I always eat a good breakfast. I only eat healthy food every day. I eat fruit, vegetables, and yogurt. I also drink lots of water. I don't eat unhealthy foods like chips, donuts, or fries. I try to protect myself from germs too. I wash my hands, take showers, and brush my teeth. Finally, I get enough rest and go to bed early every night. Now, following the rules that I already explained you and the rules that you have in here, like between the, uh, the items in a list and also after a sequence word, after sequence word, you are going to write a comma. So you just need to find in this text, when do you have uh, sequence words, when do you have items in a list and you are going to write the commas in red color, please. Por favor, en color rojo para que me sea más fácil eh, pues encontrar tus comas. Ok, so now we are going to practice the phonics and we are going to listen to these audios. Activity 20 on page 53 says, listen and read and repeat. 
Now I'm going to play the audio and I want you to repeat with me or with the audio because, yes? Uh, so now let's check and pay attention, repeat all of it. Students book, page 53, activity 20. Listen, read, and repeat. One. N. Two. R. R. Okay, excellent. Now we can go to activity 21, listen and find the say We just have two words, so it needs to be like super fast. Students book, page 53. Activity 21. Listen and find. Then say. R. 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 Right. Right. Okay. N. 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 Okay. Now, activity 22 says listen and blend the sounds. We are going to do this. And please, I want you and I'm trusting that you are repeating and reading this at home because it's super important for you to practice this. It's going to help you with your reading and your pronunciation. So let's check. Students book, page 53, activity 22. Listen and blend the sounds. One. N. N o. O. No. no. Two. Number two in the other column. R. A. Mm. N. Wrong. Wrong. Okay, let's repeat three. number three. R, R, A, P, Rap. Rap. Four. N, A, K. Knock. Knock. Five. N, I, T. T. Night. Six. R, I, S, T. Wrist. Seven. N, A, T. Not. Eight. R, E, K. Rack. Okay, perfect. Now, activity 22 says read aloud, then listen and chant. Now, we are going to read this together before we listen to the audio. What's wrong? Wrong, wrong. The night, not his knee, knee, knee. And he's raised, raised, raised. I know. Wrap his knee and wrap his wrist. Now, let's listen again, one more time. What's wrong, wrong, wrong? The knight knocked his knee, knee, knee. And his wrist, wrist, wrist. I know, wrap his knee and wrap his wrist. Uh, it's like a little bit tricky, right? Now, let's listen to the audio. Um, we are going to repeat this. Now, let's pay attention because um, you need it to read it at the same time as this person is going to read. Now, let's listen and repeat. Students book, page 53, activity 23. Read aloud, then listen and chant. What's wrong, wrong, wrong? The knight knocked his knee, knee, knee and his wrist, wrist, wrist. I know, wrap his knee, and wrap his wrist. Okay, excellent. Now let's go to page four, 54. It's the last activity that we are going to do, and it's activity 24, listen and don't marry in order. Now we have some steps, like this first picture says, you should, you should cough or sneeze into a tissue or in into the inside of your arm is this this is this part right 
The next one says you should wash your hands often. And the last picture says you shouldn't share food, cups, forks, or spoons. Now, you are going to listen to these sentences, but you need to write uh, number one, two, or three in the order that you hear them. Now, let's listen to this carefully. It's like really fast, and let's check it. Students book, page 54, activity 24. Listen and number in order. When you get sick, you don't want all your friends to get sick too. Here are some easy ways to stop passing germs to your friends. Just follow these easy rules. Listen. One. Number one. Sharing is great, but not when you are sick. Don't share your food, cups, straws, forks or spoons with your friends when you are sick. Okay, that was number two. two. Number one. Number two. Don't cough or sneeze into your hands. Your hands touch many things. You should always cough or sneeze into the inside of your bent arm. That way, you won't have so many germs on your hands. Three. Okay. Number three says, the most important way to stop passing germs is this. You should wash your hands with warm water and soap many times during the day. Always wash before you eat and after you touch things in the classroom. Keeping your hands clean is a good way to stay healthy and stop passing germs. Okay, that was excellent. Now, that's it. The project, we are going to do it the next week because today we have three pages and I think it's more than enough. So that's it for today and I hope you have a nice weekend. I'll see you the next week. Try to send your activities on time if you are missing one of them. And yes, I'll see you the next week on Monday. Goodbye.